Welcome back everyone to Into the Flames and this is the Heights map which is new for roughly about a month or so or maybe longer than that so this is station one and I'm going to do a tour of all the different stations and the equipment that's set up and I may do some changes to what I like so Here's the uh, front quarters. Not very realistic because for starters, you're going to be inhaling all of the carbon monoxide fumes from the vehicles. And even though they're supposed to be like a uh, ventilation system in place where some of you may have seen it where it's like a large yellow hose that comes from the ceiling and you attach it to the uh, tailpipe of the vehicle and that pushes all the carbon monoxide out of the building or out of the engine quarters and it gets uh, pushed outside but still I mean this isn't very realistic in modern stations. Maybe this is a setup that uh, from like a hundred years ago and like a hundred years ago this would have been fine when um, no, not even that now that I think of it I'm thinking back to when fire stations mainly had like horses or something and that was well over a hundred years ago where this setup could have possibly have been fine but I mean there's no restroom in the station so everyone pretty much has to use a chamber pot and throw it in the dumpster outside just kidding. Um, I'm. I wonder if this was just oversight on the developer's part. There's not a restroom or anything in there. But that's not really important in the game. So let's go to station two. So I'll keep this engine, but I really don't like tillers. Don't ask me why. Um, I'm actually a former volunteer firefighter. So again, I, I just don't like tillers. I don't know why I just don't. So, needless to say, this tiller is going, and I'll go with, uh, let's just go with the tower ladder, but it really should be, um, okay, no, this isn't the one. So yeah, this is fine. So I'm doing a setup here for a reason. Um, I'm considering doing a community for this game. Let's see if we could change the skin. Yep. That's perfect. So I'll turn those lights off. 
turn the engine off and then get out. So this is station two. I kind of disagree with the setup in this station also. Um, I think what's on the second floor in this floor should be in the reverse. I believe the uh, bedroom quarters or the sleeping quarters should be up here and the kitchen and entertainment or living room space should be down here. And there's no restroom in the station also. So this is my setup for station two. Let's go to station three. Let's teleport there. So station three is single bay station so only one piece of equipment to fit in so station three has squad three in there um squad is sort of like a combination between a rescue and a pumper can do the job of both So what I like about this too is the door comes up so you can get to the pump panel. So I went out here because as you can see there's room for another vehicle so in a community where enough people for multiplayer basically use the uh, command car as you can see that fire is is rolling over there so uh, actually let's just go ahead and Let's go ahead and head over there. I had a sick person who we're in, not concerned with that. All right, so. That's rolling. So, all right, take our supply line. Now we're going to need our hydrant wrench. Pull up further. So, if you're familiar with firefighting, usually your pumper will never actually pull directly in front of the house, especially when you have limited space in the rear. So, we're going to do our 360 and So it's two homes on fire, so I would actually bump this up to like second or third alarm. Alright, so let's grab our attack line. So 
so we're going to bring this over here. I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to go to our pump panel. I'm going to hit fill tank. I'm going to max that out. We're going to turn our throttle on. So that was discharge two. So in order to get the attack line to work, you need to have in water discharge at least 120 or it won't, it won't work at all. So you need 120 for each hand line that you put in the service. So if it's someone came over and took another line, I'll have to bump it up to 240 in order to get that second line to work. So let's get our air pack. Let's get the stairs here. So according to the uh, developer, there's supposed to be better, uh, better fire illustration or fire effects. I'm guessing the uh, flames will look a lot more realistic once they're done. Alright, so we're going to need a ladder. Let's go to tools. And... Let's go with the 24 foot ladder. All right. Let's grab our line. this I will right, we'll just hit that from over here think I completed my thought earlier but usually you'll uh, the engines not supposed to really be in front of the building and that's for the purpose of the ladder truck getting in front and uh, make it easier so it can lift the uh, ladder up and do whatever they need to take care of whether it's um, venting the roof gaining access through the second floor or third floor but generally uh like i said engine whatever engine that pulls up is supposed to uh leave room in front Unless they really have like an adrenaline rush going and no one's thinking about that. So let's just do this the cheat way and 
Return all hoses. And let's return. Oh. Let's grab this ladder. Alright, I think it's glitching here, so it's not allowing me to It's not allowing me to uh grab the ladder back. Oh well, no biggie. This And let's we'll just go the wrong way. So one of the other features is you can change the uh the lighting. So I can make the primary clear and secondary red or make primary red and secondary clear. Or you could just make it whatever color you want. I mean, you can make it green, blue, so let's just go and back this up. Not the perfect back end, but it is what it is. So we're done with uh, station three. Now let's go to station four. So station four, like in the Canton County map. It's the largest station. I think this station is even larger than... No, actually, yeah, it's wider. So, I would keep all of these except for the tanker. I think the tanker would be better suited at the, uh, the airport station. So, we're going to get rid of that. And let's see, we already have our coin. So we can actually do either a brush engine or an ambulance if we were playing with the, with a allowing EMS. So I'm just going to put in the rescue and the this place. Even though using the rescue in this game, um, I mean, the main use would really be for uh, accidents or residential rescues. But uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot more, more of a variety of different calls. So, 
So this says tower ladder, but it's it's really a quint because it has uh it's a pumper also. So I think this is the only station with um Yeah, this is actually larger than uh Station 4 in the Canton County map. So I'm not sure what's going to be done with some of these rooms. I'm, I would imagine it's going to be a few offices. Like a chief's office, lieutenant's office, what have you. Alright, so this is the kitchen. Alright, so let's go back down. So that's it. Let's just jump in here and, uh... Change the, uh, paint job. So that it matches everyone else. Alright, so... Let's go to... Station 5. So, Station 5 has one solo rescue inside. Um, I would actually go with a... I'd actually go with a Quint or a Squad. So, let's get rid of this. Let's go with the Quint. So let's take a walk through here. So a couple beds. All right, so should be able to slide down the pole, but I guess that's glitched out. So this setup actually makes more sense than some of the other stations. So we had the quint and there's still room for another so we're gonna get that as the squad all I'm gonna do is put it in this alleyway here Alright, let's take that. 
Alright, so you have your two vehicles. Now let's go to station six, the final station. So at first I thought it was a good idea to keep the Quint, but I'm thinking that the uh Alright, so we get rid of the Quint. And we're gonna put the tanker here. Hopefully I picked the right tanker. Uh, I guess this is fine too. the tanker and the airport truck now in multiplayer there's people that will actually take the airport truck and drive it to uh, an actual house fire which is so unrealistic for for one thing that's like your main fire protection vehicle. So if that was to leave, it, it basically limits the fire protection of the airport. And I believe the airports usually will have to uh, stop service because they have no fire protection. And with an airport, I mean, anything can happen at the drop of a dime. All right, so that's the tour of all... Actually, no, I didn't walk through. So, this setup is actually... Uh, I think this is the best and the most realistic. Go up the stairs here. So you have your your bunks. You know, I think this should be uh really I think all the bunks should be in like one area and walled off. So if I was to rearrange this I would maybe make, like, from here to the wall, the uh, living quarters, or the bedroom quarters, and then from here over would be, like, your lounge area. So, this is the only station with a uh, restroom. Seeing like these couches and everything could be over here and have a television on the wall or something. And you have your other door going to the engine quarters. Alright, so let's look at what the uh what emergencies we have all right
All right, so that's 640. at the map. Alright, so there's a trailer. So let's just use the tanker and So it's just for a fire alarm. We'll go with procedure. Horse bowl. Entry tool. Let's just look inside. Nothing showing. So let's just force the door here. want to look through every room make sure there's nothing going on all right so it turns out to be nothing shut that alarm off and that's it So, some of the videos that I do for this game, um, it's going to just be me responding to calls, or there's going to be times where I play and have it on multiplayer, just so you see how everyone else plays. Um, I really haven't seen anyone uh, kind of messing around and just doing dumb stuff everyone usually works well together for the most part almost like uh, Star Trek bridge crew like everyone has to work as a team to uh, accomplish the goal and like I said only here and there there's people that just do their own thing and mess up the the whole gaming experience but it's not as bad as you would think I mean it's not people out there treating the game like GTA online and that's trolling everyone so that's gonna be it for this video so I hope you guys like it and please leave a like Feel free to leave a comment and I will see you soon.